in application areas where high output power and highly efficient power conversion is required, step-down converters are the preferred solution. To visualize and evaluate different step-down converter topologies, Xperia created the Minilab platform. The platform is a hands-on training to deepen your knowledge about DC-DC conversion and it also serves as a benchmark platform to compare different products for the required standards. Furthermore, the Minilab 2 considers compactness as much as functionality to create a handsome form for demonstrations. It offers you many opportunities like to adjust the amperage or the voltage for individual applications. The results will be displayed immediately, so the Minilab 2 is easy to handle and instinctively understandable. There is designated protection against reverse polarity and transient voltage pulses at the input. The Minilab features side-by-side -side comparison of two devices under test with inline efficiency measurements. Results are displayed straight away on two dedicated OLED displays. Minilab 2 investigates the efficiency of asynchronous and synchronous step-down conversion while showing the strength of Nexperia products in the applications. But let's have a deeper look on the board itself. The reverse polarity protection and load switch are realized by Nexperia's 40V P-channel MOSFETs and LF pack 56 For transient overvoltage protection, a high temperature TVS diet in a CFP5 is provided. For the high side and low side switches we choose PMPB20EN, a medium power MOSFET which is suitable for 12 volt automotive applications. PMPB20EN is housed in a DFN2020 MD6 package. This is a 2x2 mm leadless package with an exposed drain pad for optimized thermal conduction and high robustness. Additionally, it features tin plated solderable side pads for optical solder inspection. For the Schottky diet, a PMEC 40T30ER and CFP3 package were used. The CFP package line contains clip bond technology for high thermal robustness and reliability. Now let's have a look on these two ways of DC DC conversion. In general, the DC DC conversion has two switches, but there are different possible components. The simplest way of step-down conversion could be an asynchronous conversion. An asynchronous converter besides a MOSFET as a high switch needs a Schottky diode in the freewheeling path to conduct while the MOSFET is off. A diode with an average forward current with sufficient safety margin should be selected. The step-down converter operates in two states. The first one is the on state. During the on state, the load is supplied by the input voltage and at the same time energy is transferred and stored in the magnetic field of the inductor. The second state is the off state. During the off state, the energy of the inductor is transferred to the load. MOSFETs can be selected. Nexperia offers a wide range of automotive qualified power MOSFETs from small leadless DFN packages for medium power applications to clip bonded LF pack packages for higher powers. The voltage class of the MOSFETs to be selected is determined by the maximum input voltage of the DC to DC converter. A sufficient safety margin should be considered. The switch has three types of losses which has to be considered when selecting a MOSFET for a switching application. Conduction losses, switching losses and driver losses. The assumption is that the main loss mechanism is the conduction loss of the diode. To ensure full operation of the duty cycle, the reverse recovery time of the diode needs to be significantly lower than the on time.
For synchronous conversion, the diode is replaced by a second MOSFET. This is done because the forward voltage drop of a MOSFET with sufficiently low RDS on is much smaller compared to Schottky rectifiers of the same power class, meaning that the conduction losses of a low side switch would be reduced by a great amount. Whenever the switching takes place, charge needs to be transferred within the MOSFET. In synchronous converter, there is a short time when both switches are open. This is the so-called dead time. In this time, the body diode of the low side MOSFET is conducting, which is highly unwanted since it has a high forward voltage. To improve the dead time behavior, a medium power Schottky diode can be added in parallel to the low side switch. This Schottky diode will conduct during the dead time and therefore keep the losses to minimum. It will also improve the thermal behavior due to heat spreading through both devices. In summary, there are two basic types of step-down conversion, asynchronous and synchronous. There is no generally right choice between synchronous and asynchronous conversion. It always depends on the application requirements. Highly efficient medium power DC to DC converters can be realized with Nexperia small signal MOSFETs. Asynchronous conversion is the more cost-efficient topology with lower driver losses since it requires a MOSFET and a Schottky diode. For higher efficiency at high power levels, the synchronous conversion is the right choice. This way demands two MOSFETs. For optimized efficiency, adding a parallel Schottky diode to the low side switch is recommended. For more information, please visit us at nexperia.com and assure yourself.